Hi there, I'm Bianca Rahimi and I'm taking you inside Iran. If you've ever wondered what life is like for us Persians, don't go away, you're bound to be surprised. Many Iranians swear by traditional Iranian medicine. They prefer to seek out natural remedies for their aches and pains. Next up, Hoda is going to tell us why. From the time humans stepped into this world, illness has been an inevitable part of their lives. Primitive people looked upon supernatural spirits to heal their illness, but as time went on, medical treatment began to advance. The practice of medicine in Iran has a long history, and excavations show that it goes back to the 1st and 2nd millennium BC. Iran's medical history reached its height during the Sassanid era, more than 15 centuries ago. It was during these years that the Academy of Jundishapur was built. This was the most important medical center of the ancient world and a breeding ground for the union among great scientists and scholars. The famous Persian physician Muhammad ibn Zakaria Razi was the first to use alcohol in practice and to introduce treatment for measles and smallpox to Europe. Abu Ali Sina, otherwise known as Evesina, is also another highly influential scholar in Iran's medical history. His books and teachings remain standard textbooks in universities until the 17th century. Professor Mohammad Ebadiani has been studying and teaching traditional medicine for over 30 years. He has done a lot of research in this field and believes that Iran's traditional medicine is not a method but a doctrine. Yek maktab puyas hamishe qadire bar asas mabani ijtihadi khodesh nisbat be masail matruh ya bimari khay nopadid ya taghirati ke sabab taghir dar salamati ya behdasht un mishe rah hal iraye bakane dar hal ke yek شیوه درمانی برای یک مقطعی و برای یک مسئله خاص و محدودی در واقع قابل استفاده است. According to traditional medicine, fire, air, soil and water are the basic components of the universe which have various temperaments. Fire is warm and dry. Air is warm and wet. Soil is cold and dry. And water is cold and wet. These features are more or less present in all creatures. When food enters the body, it is turned into one of these four components. Bile, which is warm and dry. Blood, which is warm and wet. Black bile, which is cold and dry. Film, which is cold and wet. These components interact with each other and also influence the dominating temperament present in each individual. When there is a balance in relationship among structural components, life becomes sustainable. If not, the body faces illness. Traditional medicine has always been around in Iran, but during the last decade, it became so significant that in 2007, the first college of traditional medicine was established in Tehran. There's also a modern clinic in the vicinity of the college, where the would-be practitioners of traditional medicine put the lessons they have learned into practice. Under direct supervision of their teachers, the students here receive patients and prescribe medicine. Hasan Malan, at the time he came to the world, he was a patient with pustis. His hand was hurting. I went to a doctor. I went to a few doctors. All of them said that he had to be treated. His hand was not treated. I came here to get the result. 
خیلی خوب شده پن. اصلا نمیتونستم را برم داشتم پلج میشدم با توجه به تغییر نوع تغذیه و درمان های اینجا خب بیماریم یه مقدار بهبود پیدا کرده نسبت به قبل که هنوز هم همچنان تحت درمان این مؤسسه است الهام قدمی یزدی هستم پزشک عمومی و دانشگاه تهران گذروندم الان دکتری طب سنتی دانشگاه تهران دارم ادامه میدم اتفاقی که توی رشته ما میفته دورمون چهار ساله هستش توی این چهار سال دو سال اول فعلا به این شکل هستش که بچه بیشتر کلاس هستن دورای تئوری رو میگذرونن بعد از اون در کنار کلاس هایی که ما داریم میایم درباره درمانگاه میشیم ما رو ویزیت میکنیم در کنار اساتیدمون و کم کم کار درمانی رو به این شکل یاد میگیریم خدا وقتی که انسان آفرید گفت که هر بیماری داد یه داروش هم بهش داد راه های مختلفی هم هستش ولی غالبی چیزی که توی جامعه ما برقرار شده اینه که طب کلاسیک یه دارو میده یه آمپول میده مردم میرن میزن مثلا تا اون آمپول رو ندی احساس کنم خوب نشدن و شاید هم همینطور باشه ولی راه های خیلی ساده تری وجود داره این هم به عنوان یکی از درمان های دیگه ای که میتونه کمک کنم داریم با باشه هستش All kinds of traditional medicine that were once widely used in Iran for many years have been provided in the pharmacy Although these are not produced in industrial scale yet, there's a lot of ambition to revive the ancient Persian science of treatment. Iran's traditional medicine has come a long way and many achievements have been made in this field. Soon, medical tools made exclusively for this practice will come into use. Odal for Iran. Man has always been fascinated by flight and determined to master the air. One way we've managed that is by paragliding. Join Massa on her first flight. I remember as a child, I always wanted to build something to fly with. To me, flying didn't mean sitting in an airplane. It meant practically to be hanging in the air. At that time, paragliding wasn't an option for me, so I gave it all up until a few months ago when I saw some paragliders up in the air and all my childhood memories came back to me. Imagine enjoying a ride on the stunning hillsides, parking your car at a gorgeous upland vantage point on a beautiful summer day. You open the trunk and take out your incredibly light flying machine and walk a few yards to where your friends are preparing to fly. After a few minutes and inspecting your equipment, you put on your helmet and harness, look around, allow the wind to rise the canopy, and launch off into space. This is paragliding. Iran is a mountainous country, therefore there are many highlands that are suitable for flying. One of the sites which is very popular for both amateur and expert pilots is the one in Damavand. It's about 110 kilometers from Tehran. تو ایران نزدیک به 20 ساله که این ورزش اومده و تقریبا میشه گفت که نو پاست. تعداد پرنده ها به هزار نفر نمیرسه. پرنده های اکتیومون تقریبا بین 100 تا 150 نفرن. بهترین تجربه که من توی پرواز دارم کاریه که تقریبا 4 سال تحقیق روی داونوند بود و بلاخره سال 81 اولین پرواز رو از دانوان انجام دادن. Even if paraglider pilots differ in every bit of their character, they all share one thing. They are all in love with height. So fear of height can definitely stop one from going for paragliding. But once you can carry your fear, you've opened the door towards awesome excitement. Normally, rescue used during acro maneuver sessions or in training, or in very bad conditions. For example, if the weather is so uh, get turbulent, uh, at that time maybe uh, he get a cravat from left or right. I mean, the wing is get the main wing canopy get out from the flight. Then at that time, if she could not uh, maintain the glider, then she has to go for her rescue. <laughs> Apart from a glider, you need a harness, helmet, flight suit, and boots.
paragliders are not cheap, although they represent one of the least expensive ways to get into the air. در واقع مبتدی محسوب میشم یه چند وقت اخیره که در واقع سولو تونستم باشم و اینکه با توجه به مربیای خوبی که اینجا هستن و مناظر خوب و طبیعت خوبی که ایران داره من راغب شدم که به این ورزش بپردازم With only 20 kilograms of extra weight you can fly as a free bird but do you dare once you've become skilled at ground handling, controlling airspeed and making gentle turns, you'll probably go to a higher hill for longer flights. But before that, taking a theory class is a must. So after a day of seeing expert and beginner pilots in Damovan, I'm starting the theory session of my flying class. Although I haven't had a flight experience, this class gets me ready to jump into the sky. <laughs> یکی از شغلایی که از بچگی آرزوم بوده پرواز و فضا نوردی بوده که دیگه حالا تو سن 41 سالگی اومدم دنبالش من بیشتر سعی دارم که هم مدرکش رو بگیرم هم اگه به جای برسم به محله برسم که تو مسابقاتش حتی بتونم شرکت کنم Paragliding is not all about being in the air Some lessons should be learned on the ground In fact the lessons learned on the ground are most helpful when facing a complicated situation up there Contrary to public opinion, paragliding is a safe sport. Although some accidents happen each year, the number of casualties compared to the number of pilots is acceptable. برای پرواز بسیار عالی، مخصوصا برای پرواز مسافت کراس کانتری بسیار خوبه، ولی برای پرواز آکروباسی ما فقط مانورایی که توش خیلی تمرین کردیم و احتمال فالتمون به صفر میرسه رو انجام میدیم. بقیه رو نه. Summer sky filled with fluffy cumulus clouds provides abundant but invisible lifting currents which pilots use to gain altitude. Most pilots talk about the sense of privilege they feel when drifting from cloud to cloud in almost total silence, watching the landscape unfold beneath them as they navigate across the sky. The lengthiest flight is said to be over 504 kilometers in South Africa. پرواز رو با پرواز شروع نمی کنن پرواز رو می یک ورزش فیزیکی با نگاه اول تصور کنیم ولی واقعیت اینه که این یک ورزش روانی و ذهنی هستش نیچه میگه که اگه انسان ها می دونستن که پرواز کنن تازه می فهمیدن که چرا پرنده ها آواز می خونن Usually at the end of my features I share the experiences that I had during making that feature but for this one I'll just let the beauty speak for itself محسا مرتضوی from the Alborz mountain for Iran. According to the UN, no country has as many refugees as Iran. They spill over from Afghanistan, and as you can imagine, coping with such an influx is hard. It's a hot day in May on the streets of Tehran. Despite the heat, the rat race goes on in the capital, and I'm out and about as well. It's been a hectic week, but the thought of an upcoming vacation keeps me going. But something has just caught my eye, distracting me from the burning sun, something heart-wrenching. An Afghan child runs in and out among the cars. She can't be more than six, a can of Esfand in her hand, her clothes bedraggled. This is a familiar sight at every red light in Tehran and across the country. She's one of millions of refugees in Iran, most of them from war-torn Afghanistan. About a million of them are registered, but the rest are illegal workers. And of course, as is the way of the world, is the refugee children in their thousands that suffer the most. Without health care or education, they live in obscurity and constant danger. But in the face of this human catastrophe, many Iranians have stepped up to help. 
thousands of non-governmental organizations have sprung up across the nation to give these children at least a chance for a better life. The Kudake Kar or Child Worker Society is one of them. Here, volunteers from all walks of life come to teach the children whatever they have to impart. In this small space, the children are taught to read and write and are allowed to play, something they don't always have time for. Moreover, they are given a chance to use their imagination and write about their hardships. All these kids have had experiences that they probably never should have had. But now that they're learning to read and write, they're able to compose those stories. And that's not only a cathartic experience for themselves, but it also demonstrates the unique potential they have pent up inside them and their unique perception of the situation they're in. روزگار سخت میگذشت من در کوچه و خیابان کار میکردم و پول در میآوردم تا برای خانواده خود خرجی بدم من کار میکردم تا پول کرایه خانه خود را بدم و خیلی دوست داشتم مثل بچه های دیگه در کوچه و خیابان کار نکنم و مدرسه بروم و با هم خیاط همه تجربه شو گذاش همه وقتشو میگذاش برای ما که کلاس های خلاقیتشو برپا میکرد که ما مثلا یه ذره از ذهنمون استفاده کنیم واقعیت اینه که اینجا در خدمت بچه ها بوده و هستش بچه ها اینجا اتاق امن نشون شده اتاق خلوت ذهنی بدم که خودشون رو بتونن مرور کنن چه مشکلاتی داشتن این مشکلات علتش چیه گریبان اینها رو گرفته چطوری میتونن خودشون رو نجات بدن when I first came here, I really didn't know what to expect, but it really is a unique atmosphere. Scores of kids keep running in and out, and they seem to treat this place more like a hangout than a school. And according to Uncle Khayyat, that's exactly what is intended. Amu Khayyat is the man at the heart of the Kudaka Car organization. He's the eccentric uncle with the flowing hair who has dedicated years of his life to teaching these kids that they are special, and can succeed. I have a dream that I don't have a job in Iran, not in the world, but in the world. I don't have a job in the world. I don't have a job in the world. I don't have a job in the world. We 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 don't have a job in the world. من کار میکردم تا پول کرایه خانه خود را بدم. خیلی دوست داشتم مثل اچهای دیگه در کوچه و صبح بیارم کار نکنم خیلی مدرسه برم و با دوستان که صبح بچه ها شاد و خندان به مدرسه می سر و کار می رفتم و شاید بچه ها خیلی شاد هستیم Amu Khayyot's creativity classes have resulted in a series of books full of the children's short stories, published punctuation and spelling mistakes included. These books are a collection of bittersweet memories and experiences that have left me in awe of the resilience of children, of children and opened my eyes to the true casualties of war and politics. Bianca Rahimi, Foyeron. Well, that's all we have time for today, but don't forget to check out our website at ifilm.com or email us at iran at ifilmtv.com. Thanks for watching.